a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. White Rabbit The White Rabbit is a fictional character in Lewis Carroll's book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. He appears at the very beginning of the book, in Chapter 1, wearing a waistcoat and muttering, Oh dear! Oh dear! I shall be too late! Alice follows him down the rabbit hole into Wonderland. Alice encounters him again when he mistakes her for his housemaid Mary Ann, and she becomes trapped in his house after growing too large. The rabbit shows up again in the last few chapters, as a herald-like servant of the King and Queen of Hearts. Personality In his article, Alice on the Stage, Carol wrote, and the White Rabbit, what of him? Was he framed on the, Alice, lines, or meant as a contrast? As a contrast, distinctly. For her youth, audacity, vigor, and swift directness of purpose, read elderly, timid, feeble, and nervously shilly-shallying, and you will get something of what I meant him to be. I think the White Rabbit should wear spectacles. I'm sure his voice should quaver, and his knees quiver, and his whole air suggest a total inability to say boo to a goose. Overall, the White Rabbit seems to shift back and forth between pompous behavior toward his underlings, such as his servants, and groveling, obsequious behavior toward his superiors, such as the Duchess, and the King and Queen of Hearts, in direct contrast to Alice, who is reasonably polite to everyone she meets. He watches from the sidelines and awaits things to happen, then comes to the rescue mainly for Alice. Disney Film In Disney's animated version of the book, the rabbit seems to have the most logic out of all the Wonderland characters. Thus, he is often the straight man for their zany antics. When he asks the dodo for help on getting the monster out of his house, dodo's ultimate solution is to burn the house down, to which the white rabbit is greatly opposed. At the Mad Tea Party, the Mad Hatter and the March Hare try to fix his watch, proclaiming it exactly two days slow. Through various food they put in the watch, the two cause it to go mad, and the hare smashes it with his mallet. The rabbit was perhaps most famous for the little ditty he sang at the beginning, I'm late, I'm late, for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. The rabbit was voiced by Bill Thompson. Some believe the rabbit was late for the announcement of the Queen to the Royal Garden. The panic the rabbit showed was his fear of losing his head. Upon her arrival the cards finish their song and the rabbit blows his trumpet royally introducing the king and queen. The white rabbit made a few appearances on the Disney Channel original show, House of Mouse. His most notable appearance was in the episode, Clarabelle's Big Secret, when he confessed to Clarabel Cow that, I'm not really late, and I don't really have a date. I'm a fraud. He is seen being grabbed by the reservation clerk Daisy Duck in the show's intro. He was voiced by Corey Burton, who has voiced the rabbit in all English-speaking roles for the character since then. In Aladdin and the King of Thieves, the genie was transformed into him. The White Rabbit also appears at the Walt Disney Parks and Resorts as a meetable character. In the PlayStation 2 action rebounds per game game, Kingdom Hearts, and its Game Boy Advance follow-up, Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, the White Rabbit leads Sora, Donald Duck and Goofy to the Queen's Palace, worried about being late. His Japanese voice actor was Shigeru Ashiyama. Tim Burton Film The White Rabbit works for the Red Queen, but is also a secret member of the Underland Underground Resistance, and was sent by the Hatter to search for Alice. Actor Michael Sheen stated, The White Rabbit is such an iconic character that I didn't feel like I should break the mold too much. In this film adaption, the White Rabbit is given the name Nivens McTwisp. 
McTwisp appears in the video game adaptation of Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland as a playable character. He attacks using his watch, and can manipulate time. Schwank Mayer Film The 1988 Czechoslovak film Alice, noted for its disturbing interpretation of Carol's story, shows a dark stop-motion version of the character. At the beginning of the film, the white rabbit starts out as a stuffed rabbit that comes alive in Alice's bedroom and breaks out of his glass case. He leaks sawdust through a hole in his chest. During Alice's pursuit of the white rabbit in Wonderland, he physically attacks her with paddles, a hacksaw, and a group of skeletal animals. The white rabbit is also the Queen of Hearts executioner, using scissors to behead the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and other characters. Upon awakening from her dream and finding the white rabbit missing from his case, Alice finds his scissors and resolves to behead him herself. Other Influences A military trench digging machine developed by the British Royal Navy at the beginning of World War II was originally known as White Rabbit No. 6, but the name was changed to Cultivate a Number 6 to conceal its identity. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?